incoming tide. Did you need any primitive armed ruffians? From behind, incoming! From behind, incoming! Incoming right side! Ah, back to a prized game. Floating eyeball oh. tentacles? No, no to this! None of these foes are real, so they do hate. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Thought you'd want to know. Don't let him pull us. Behind, hit the get tougher the longer you take here. Ugh! <sighs> 
Welcome, Kratos. Honor me with another sparring match. I brought something else to keep things interesting. You're not the only one with weapons from far off lands, you know. Ready? Ambitious. Proud. I could not accept defeat. I crave power. Is that all? Are you sure? Nothing more to that story? Nothing else under the surface? I yield, Kratos. Very well. I believe you found an understanding within yourself. Shall we see? Pools. It's not only memories. Indeed. For what is a memory apart from our perspective on it? You know the evils that came of your path. You know the evils within yourself. Yes, these you dwell on. But it's not that simple, is it? The horde is vast, brother. What would have happened if you didn't stop it? Our lands would have been overrun. Our people killed, violated. People your army was sworn to protect. An army led by you. Did you not feel a duty to fulfill your purpose? Did you not fear for the safety of your homeland? You saved them. You would excuse my actions? Excusing them is not the exercise, Kratos. Only accepting them. Accepting that you acted based on what you knew then, 
not on what was to come. Your motivation and their consequences are far more complicated than you let yourself believe. Hmm. I think perhaps you have more to process. Yes. I have much to think about. I will return. And I will be waiting. echoes in the halls. There's no mistaking it. So it's Tyr's game you're playing? This is all his idea? A game is not his purpose. There is something here I must see through. And what is that exactly? A process. <sighs> all right. If it's helping. I trust you both. We all do. As we trust in Valhalla. Even after what it did to you? I knew the rules and chose to break them. I regret nothing. <laughs> Valhalla has an offering. Shield Maiden. Your reward. A mind that can adapt thrives amid chaos. Finding order within the storm. I'd like to tell you a story that I think will help you along your path. Continue. Early in my life, before I was a Valkyrie, I was a healer in a small village. My father trained me in the use of herbs and natural remedies. To him, coming from a long line of herbal healers, that was the only true medicine. But visiting the city, I saw healers who used magic. Only magic to treat their patients. I'd seen it work. And work wonders. I tried to tell my father, but he said mage healing was against his philosophy. A dangerous shortcut that violated tradition. Being a good daughter, I respected his convictions. But that all changed when he took ill. That's a good place to stop for now. When you're further along on your journey, I'll share the next part of my story. Hmm. We did more things and more things to do. Check. Ready for more story? Continue. So, the bully with a grudge. He comes to the inn in the dead of night, chucks a bottle of fire through the window, sets the whole place ablaze. The coward thought I was inside in bed, but luckily I was just getting home. I saw the flames shoot up and surround where my father was sleeping. Well, this wasn't going to be the day I started hesitating. I charged into the fire and dragged him out. Not unscathed exactly, neither of us, but alive. And if I was too angry and fearless for my own good before, now, well... I charged right into that bastard's lair, me against his whole gang. Honestly, I had no business coming out of that alive. As it turned out, 
I came out of there with a job. But we'll get to that next time. Hmm. No shame in making things a wee bit easier if you can. Since we keep going back in, I take it this process is working for you somehow. Yes. Succeed or fail. I feel progress. Clarity. I need to see it through. Very good, brother. <clears throat> An infamous act, one they still spoke of in the years of rebuilding. I somehow doubted they meant it so literally. I'll give you this, brother. Your technique has improved immeasurably. I needed his power to secure my vengeance against the gods. I believed I had no choice. No choice? You could have not ripped my head off my body. That was absolutely an option. And he's back. But that wasn't the worst of it, was it, Kratos? Killing it deprived Greece of the sun. They were plunged into perpetual cold and darkness. Crops ceased to grow. Famine descended on our homeland. Not that you came. Enough. He is better, isn't he? Kratos. I'm curious, your decision to behead Helios, was it fueled by any personal motivations, or was it really just a means to an end? It was not personal. I did know him long before I killed him. 
He was as insufferable as any god. But his death brought me no satisfaction. Did you know what would happen as a result? When Helios was captured by the god of dreams, the lands fell into darkness and were not restored until his return. I knew exactly what would happen. This one wants a price from you, brother. Kratos, I hope you'll forgive me for overhearing. But before you first found your way to me, you were grappling with the symbolism of your former seat of power. May I offer a perspective? You may. Before I became God of War, I felt as hesitant as you do. I feared that taking the throne would only validate Odin's power hierarchy, which even then I didn't trust. But I decided I could wield a better influence on the inside than on the outside. There are many ways to lead, and not all of them involve ruling. The throne and the office are only what you bring to them. There's the one Valhalla's mark! <laughs> Be impressed. <laughs> Grand. We should be free to move up to the next area now. Yeah! 
plucking a son of Thor out of your memory, of all things. Hello again, Kratos! And lest we forget Kratos, lest we neglect to place your deed in full and proper context, I saved your life! Me! And you literally tore off my head for my troubles! Imagine if all your new friends knew how you used to treat your old friends. Of course, you're not the same man, right? Now, you only get your friends killed through lack of foresight. Far easier to blame others that way, am I right? I know you are a projection of the mind. But for what it is worth, the death I gave you was unjust. Oh, how touching. Yeah, not actually worth the spittle it took to mumble that out. Do not do that again. Nobody wants to hear that from you. A little something to remember by. I truly hope it brings you unrelenting torment. Chills you just a little when they do that, doesn't it? Feels like... A choice regarding your fate must be nice. Slippery bastards, haven't you? Sever the link already!
a minotaur. Now we'll see who's half a man. It's charging at us. Now that's the Kratos that brought down Atlas. Look at you. Oh. Kill the right foe in every way. Winged creature with a trident?
Coming die. Yeah. End of another gauntlet. I have another cherished weapon from my travels to show you. Ready to see? Be ready! Great fear, by the way. Turned the land to suffer, but I was indifferent, consumed only by rage and retribution. That is not what I asked. How did it feel 
In that moment, your soul given over to darkness, bringing a darkness over everything you can see. Darkness come! You occur! Cover! Get in the light! Let our battle clear your mind. Arms up! I yield. I yield. Good then. I don't think you are indifferent, Kratos. I think you were hurt. Deeply hurt. And you handled it unskillfully. Wait. Is that you restoring the sun? You took Helios's chariot and put the sun back in the sky, but sacrificed yourself in the process. Yes. I fell to my death and was saved by Helios. But this memory happened before I killed him. My evils were yet to come. What is the point? That your legacy has always been a complicated one. That goodness is not a destination we arrive at, but a practice. Misfortune may drive anyone to darkness. We resist it only through wisdom and vigilance. You are not so unskillful now as you were then. Better voices in your head, you might call it. I think that's enough for now. You have much to contemplate. Yes. Back to the beach then. You should be proud of your progress, Kratos. See you soon. It seems like you're making progress, whatever you're doing in there. Perhaps. Listen, I... No, I made you feel like we expected more of you than you could give. And I just want you to know, I'm not asking you to change how you are or who you are. We had to break the old world to build a new one. Picking up the pieces and putting them together stronger. It's a rare opportunity. You made a difference here. In some circles, a symbol of change. On many days, just knowing that you're a part of the Council is enough. In other days. You've earned a voice. How you use it is up to you.